I just want to talk about um, cross bites, center lines, and elastic wear, right? So this young lady, she's quite together. She's got a family history of a class three jaw pattern. And you can see the upper jaw has been widened. The teeth have aligned, but if you look at the center line, the upper center line is out compared to the lower center line. Now the elastic pattern she's been wearing has been from the canine to the molar, so class two. And that will get this canine, which is half unit, into class one. The problem with wearing elastics buckly, it puts force on the upper wire, which causes it to push in. So you end up with more cross bite. So when you're using elastics, this is a 3B short, where we put a button inside the upper canine, from that button to the, bite together, the buckle of the lower six. That way, not only are you getting a centerline component, but you're also getting a cross bite eliminated. So remember, elastics are used for AP problems, for centerline problems, and people forget for transverse problems. So if you look at the smile line here, bite together, you can see that the buckle corridor is very narrow on the left side. So what we're doing is wanting to widen that side. The problem with a class two elastic, it's going to compress that side. So the ideal treatment here to get the jaw centered would be to move the upper center line to the left of the patient's um, uh, facial balance at the moment so that the upper center line matches the lower, okay? The other thing is to lock in this side. So this side's nice class one, socked in. So if it's a nice class one, we'd probably just use deltral axis to keep it that way. But on this side, we want to get the canines into class one, but we don't want to create more for cross by. So it just shows you how we use elastics here. The summary would be delta to lock things in here, heavy class two on the left, but coming from the inside of the upper canine to the outside of the lower molar, so to the three six. That way I'm getting an expansion component as I'm getting the class two component. Uh, and that way we'd be able to look at getting the uh, braces off uh, sooner. Mm -hmm.